Alright you guys, I'm going to show you how to install the Heart of America pit switches. These are going to give you compliance during rotocross races. Um, this is going to allow you to turn your VTX on and off while you're on the line and waiting for your turn to take off. Just to go over a few things here. Um, this side over here on the, the three pad side, that is going to be everything that is connected to the flight controller. These two over here on this side is gonna be connected to your VTX. Um, so whatever voltage that you are powering your VTX off of now needs to go to this pin here. Obviously that's gonna be ground, and then this is gonna be your signal pad. You can do it to any TX or RX that you have available. Um, I have mine to a TX just because I'm weird like that. It's transmitting from the flight controller to this, to this component. So that's why I chose TX, but it seems like you can use any um, receiver and we'll go over why you can later on when we get into beta flight. And then you're going to connect your, your VTX actually grounded there and then your positive is gonna be right there. So it's gonna be a pass through. It's essentially stopping the high end. This is going to be more beneficial than doing some that are built into the flight controller that does it on the low end because then you can still get some power. Um, this is gonna chop off positive, not gonna chop off negative. So let's get into the install and how I have it set up. All right, so we're gonna get into my VTX, disconnect that. This thing is like wedged on there. Okay, here we go. Put this out of the way. All right, so you can see mine is mounted right here. I'm gonna place it on this standoff and it's gonna be cinched down between my VTX on top of my stack. I'm gonna flip this guy over so you can kind of see. All right, so as you can kind of see here, I've got my signal wire here. This is gonna be running all the way down to my, I have it on my transmit five pad, my TX5. Um, so just an easy connection there. I'm gonna get this out of the way so you can kind of see all this. So this is where my VTX was typically powered from. I have the VBAT there in the ground here. You can see that is being connected in to the far side here on the three pin side. So three pin side is all your flight controller. That's everything that's hooked to your flight controller. Positive, negative, going into the positive, negative on this side. Your transmit or TX pad going into the IO pad on this side here. It's kind of snuck behind here. You can see my negative and my positive going to my VTX are sitting there. So that's how you'll get your power to your VTX is going to be the two pads at the very end here. I have mine just all tidied up because that's me and I, how I like to get my builds. They're nice and clean-ish, clean-ish. We'll go with clean-ish. And then um, you just find a place to put it on a standoff, figure out how to get it in there, and then we'll go into beta flight and show you how to do the CLI for that. All right, now that we're in beta flight, let's go ahead and connect. We're gonna go down to the CLI tab. You're gonna wanna type resource into the command tab, into the command line. You're gonna look for whichever pad that you placed your signal wire on. For my case, I chose serial TX5, so, um, you wanna look at this line, but then you wanna remember the three digit code that is next to it. That is very important. So I would honestly write that down. You're gonna come down to the command line again, and you're gonna type resource space serial underscore TX, whatever yours is, space none, and hit enter. You'll see a resources freed here. But I wanna, I wanna bring something up real quick. On the instructions, I know it's just a typo, but it says to put a, an equal sign right there. Don't put the equal sign there. I had so many error issues that I, was, I couldn't figure out exactly what was going wrong. And you also need to include a resource in it as well. If you just do the serial TX equals none, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. So you need to put resource for one and no equal sign in between your command and which one you're selecting. So once you have that done, you want to go ahead and type save and hit enter, and then you're going to reboot it, and we're going to need to get back into beta flight. So I'll be right back when we get back. All right, guys, now that we're ready to get back in, let's go back to the CLI menu. Um, just so you can be sure, and if you want to like go back and double check, type resource again, and look for the one that you were doing. There is no TX5, so that means we have a, you know officially clear that one up. So what we're going to do next, we're going to go back to the command line. We're going to type in resource 
Pino. Gotta get my P right. Pino. I might be saying that wrong, but oh well. Space one. Space whatever your three digit code was that you had. Mine was C12. We're gonna hit enter. Resource is set to C12. We're gonna go ahead and do save again, and I will see you back here in a minute. All right, now that we're back, let's get back into the CLI tab. This is all done in the CLI, which, bittersweet. It's a new, I, I don't usually get into the CL tab, CLI tab a lot, but I'm learning something. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put set Pino underscore config space equals space one comma one comma one comma one. We're gonna hit enter. Pino config set to one comma one comma one comma one. Perfect. Then we're gonna type set Pino underscore box space equals space three nine comma zero comma zero comma zero and we're gonna hit enter pino box set to three nine comma zero comma zero comma zero perfect so we're gonna hit save and see you back here in a minute all right you guys so we're gonna go back in, into beta flight we're gonna connect but we're not going back into the cli finally so what that essentially has done, what we just did is we <clears throat> unassigned the TX5 in the config or in the ports tab. So we unassigned the TX5 here, and we have reassigned the let me find it. We reassigned it as the VTX pit mode. So essentially you have the ability now to create a range that you want your VTX pit mode to be on and this will work by the switch. So let's go ahead and give it some testing. Alrighty guys, I'll make this quick. I've got both me and the controller in the video right now. You can see me in the video. I'm going to flick this switch right here and bye bye And then I'll flip it back again. Boom. VTX is back on. It's actually got a green light on it right now that I'm looking at and I can see it's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, that is so fucking badass, super cool. Boom, gone. Hey, how's it going? Uh, this works freaking phenomenal, you guys. So be compliant at the rotocross races. You can even use these in team races. That is the plus that having the, the ability to turn your VTX off, I think that's a super plus. I'll catch you guys later.